Bishop ISD ordered a school-wide lockdown today. Bishop police are not saying the exact nature of the threat, only to say that it involved violence within the school system. Our John Rapolo spent part of the day in Bishop, and he joins us now live in our studio with the very latest, John. Yeah, good evening, Drew. It all began this morning. The threat of violence taken very seriously in Bishop cops and school officials. Well, I didn't waste any time acting on the threat and notifying parents. Take a look. This text was sent to parents by the Bishop CISD at 944 this morning. A threat was found in writing at Bishop High School. No one was in the dark, and we just wanted to make sure that our parents realized that we had a serious situation. According to Bishop Police, a note containing threats of violence was found taped to a men's room wall. Immediately, Bishop CISD ordered a lockdown at all five campuses. We didn't let anybody in or out of the buildings. And the text to parents continued. This one released at 10.01 this morning, telling parents not to drive to the campuses at all. At 12.30, the lockdowns were lifted, except here at Bishop High, where the note was found. I felt scared at first. Parents concerned about the threat. It's scary, uh -huh. considering everything that's going on. Yeah. And some kids just think this is a crack, like this is something fun. Today's threat was the eighth at area schools in the last week. In court today, six juveniles all arrested for making terroristic threats at some of those schools. We can't show you their faces because they're juveniles. Judge Tim McCoy ordered them back to jail, pending a psychological evaluation. But it's not, okay? Because now we have to take precautions, all right? Because stuff like that does happen. We all know it now. All right, well, Bishop Police telling me tonight they've interviewed several students in connection with this written threat, but as of now, have not made any arrests. Making a terroristic threat, by the way, it's a misdemeanor. Carries a possible jail sentence of 180 days and a monetary fine. We're live in the studio. John Rapolo, Action 10 News.